everybody. I now have blue hair, as you can see. I need to shave the undercut, and I'm gonna get all ready for a music video that I'm gonna be filming for my other YouTube channel in the next coming days. So what I really need to do is to tighten up these roots of mine, because I haven't tightened the dreads for, gosh, I don't know how long. When I went pink, I didn't really want to lock that color in there, so I left them loose. So they are in desperate need of a tighter. If you have dreads, or if you're thinking about getting dreads, this is the process. So obviously I'm already dreaded, so I'm not going to tell you how to create dreads. There are lots of tutorials on YouTube about that. That's how I did mine, uh, with the help of a good friend of mine, Jenna. Um, we looked up YouTube tutorials, and that's how we created my dreads. But this is a tutorial on how to maintain your dreadlock. What you're going to need is a crochet hook. I found this at Spotlight in New Zealand. If you're not from New Zealand, Spotlight is a sewing shop, a material shop. You can get fabric, curtains, utensils, knitting needles. Utensils? Is that even the right word? I don't even know. This is a crochet hook and it is 0.75 millimeters in, I'm going to say, in diameter. Is that? the size of the little hook. Anyway, that's the size I use, 0.75 millimeters. Everyone's different. I've found my own way of doing this, but I hold thumb and index finger. Kind of all the fingers, it's not really that important. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm selecting a dread and all the loose hair, hair, it's a very Kiwi way of saying it, all the loose hair around it. You can see my scalp is still dyed blue and I've scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed and it's not coming off, so. We're just going to have to wait for that stuff to flake off, as delightful as that sounds. So I'm making sure that loose hair from other dreads isn't getting caught up, but I'm not being too pedantic about like clipping it down or anything. I used the twist and rip method when I created these dreads three years ago. So I'm, I just kind of twist it so that it's a little bit tighter. Okay, actually I'm going to show you further down so you can see what I'm doing. I put it through the dread, like so. So I do this all in between my fingers, but you gotta be careful not to hook your fingers because some people get really raw fingers from doing this. Um, so you put it through and then you kind of hook it back because the hook is towards my face. So you hook it back and then pull it out and what you'll see is it catches everything. So then you pull everything in. So what you wanna do is you wanna get those loose hairs, put your crochet hook through, put the hook around the loose hairs and then pull them into the dread and they will start to loop like that and then you pull them in. So some people are really fussy about how they do it. They'll pull bits of hair in, they'll pull it out the other side, pull it around, and be really, really fussy about how neat and tidy they do it. I personally don't have the time to do anything like that. So the method I'm using, I get all the loose hair, focus on me, thank you. I get all the loose hair, I twirl it around, and then I basically do that through the dread, pull back towards myself and pull out. But I don't pull all the way out. I just kind of, honestly, I don't really know what I'm doing at the end of the day. It looks like I'm just going, but there is a slight circular movement that I'm doing to help the, the hook work. A lot of people who have dreadlocks will say not to just yank it in and out like what I'm doing because it damages the hair and you don't want to do that. But honestly, if you've got dreadlocks, you can't be that concerned about damaging your hair. Well, some people are, I suppose, but I'm not. I'm really not that concerned. And I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, if my hair falls out, I'll just chop it off and have short hair. Because hair grows back. You kind of do this for a bit and then you realize that you will start to feel the dread getting tighter and you'll feel that the crochet hook kind of stops moving, which means you've basically done a really good job. And then it's time to twist again, get, go to a different spot and keep going. You will feel pain the closer to the scalp you get. No pain, no gain though, right? So it's already starting to get a bit tighter. There's a lot of loose hair still. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna push the dread down so that it kind of bubbles, and then I'm gonna pull those bubbles in. Also what I'm doing, I think this, um, I developed this technique unknowingly while I was trying desperately not to poke myself in the thumb. So I start closest to my thumb and then I kind of rotate my crochet hook away from my thumb. So as I'm going in and out, in and out, I'm pulling away from my thumb. I know that's kind of um, contrary to what I was saying before about pulling it towards my thumb. I still do that circular movement when I want to pull the loose hairs in. Once they're kind of in, then I just start doing that rotating away from the thumb faster action just to get the knots to really tighten up. See if I can do it in slow motion for you. So I'm doing one, two, three, 
one, two, three, but it's probably more than three. About five, actually. And I'm with my left hand, I'm twisting the dread as I go. This all sounds very technical, and honestly, like, you don't have to try doing that. Because, um, oh no, my fingers are getting blue, that's not good. I've washed my hair twice since I've dyed it as well. When I used to watch dread tutorials and how to tighten them and how to even create them in the first place, there were so many different techniques that different um, people with dreadlocks had, and I would try their techniques and it just didn't feel natural to me, and you kind of just work around what you can do and what you can't do, and you eventually just come up with something that works. This root is nice and tight now. It looks like there's still a lot of loose hair, but it feels thick. I'll show you this one to compare it to. I've got so much fluff because I haven't tightened for ages, so obviously there's this giant piece of hair that needs to be pulled in. This one, if I untwist it, I can put my finger right through it. All the way, it's probably a good two to three centimeters, all the way up to here. This one, probably only one centimeter, if that. For me, I would be happy with what I've done. So there you go, all done. You might find that you feel like you're kind of getting nowhere and then suddenly it gets tight. So just stick with it, um, you know, just keep going, keep going and eventually it will tighten up and you'll realise that you've actually done a heck of a lot of work and it's all done. Each dread I would say, I don't know, it took me what, a minute, two minutes? It really doesn't take long. Don't be a perfectionist about it because once you, basically once you pull in those loose hairs and you kind of semi-tighten them, they'll start to knot themselves up anyway. Some of them um, start to dread together, oh here we go. Now I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but there's a, a few hairs in here in between these two dreads that have started to dread together. So what you need to do is either be really careful about knowing which dread they belong to and start to pull them out separately, or you can just rip them apart. Depending on how much pain and how much pain you want to go through and whether or not you care enough about your hair to not do that. I think that's all I really need to talk about. Um, yeah, let me know how you go. If you have any other questions, please just chuck them in the comments. Um, and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And yeah, happy dreading, guys. Bye.